Nakikita niyo po yung screen? Opo. Okay. Opo. Yes po, Pastor. Okay, okay. Sige, let's, let's pray first. Join yes, me in I do. prayer. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we praise you, God, for who you are, for you are kind, for you are great, for you are mighty. Praise you, Lord, for you are good. And Lord, we thank you, God, for another opportunity that uh, we come together to learn from you. And we thank you, Lord, indeed, uh, for what you're doing in the lives of everyone. We thank you even, Lord God, for the trials, because we know, Lord God, that the trials and the testings in our lives will strengthen our faith in you. Because time and time again, always, Lord God, you will prove to us that you indeed are faithful, even if we are not. So, Father in heaven, we just thank you, God, for all the things that you're doing in our lives, the things that you will do even in the future. Father in heaven, we ask for your Holy Spirit to give us the, the, the wisdom, the intellect, the, the enlightenment, Lord God, to reveal to us the message, Lord God, uh, from the text that we will be tackling tonight. And we ask, O oh Lord, that uh, your word will touch our hearts and change our lives, O oh Lord. May your word awaken us, awaken our souls, and make us really understand that there is urgency for us to share the gospel to, to everyone, uh, to share Jesus with others. Father in heaven, we, we ask for your Holy Spirit to lead us, to guide us, to take charge and even to take over in this Bible study. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, ang ating pong pag-uusapan is I am the resurrection and the, and the life. Ito po sinabi ni Jesus sa uh, John 11, verse 25. And, uh, oh, kung ipat ko lang itong. Sa so, John 11, 25. And nasa po tayo sa pang bread. Ano yun? Bread, light, gate, shepherd, and resurrection life. So pang limang part ng seven uh, series natin. Maybe eight even. Na the I am statements of Jesus. No? So let us proceed. So ito na po yung ating verse. John 11.25. Let me read the verse uh, for us. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. So yan po yung verse. Isa lang ating verse. However, uh, we will start from, the, from verse 1 even all the way to verse 45. But we will be quick kasi babasahin natin. And uh, it's more like a narrative. It's a narrative. So, as we, as I, as I read, I will explain. And it's a very straightforward na nangyari sa John 11. This is about the resurrection of Lazarus. So, background. Uh, so, John 5. It is the healing, the pool on, on the Sabbath. John 6. Jesus feeds the five thousand. Uh, Jesus walks on water. John 6. I am the bread of life. Statement. Yes, John 6. Then. And ito yung sa rivers of living water, sinabi niya sa seventh day, sa Feast of the Booth. John 7, and I am the light of the world. The same occasion. And sa John 8, and Jesus heals a blind man sa pool of Siloam. Sa John 9, and uh, John 10, I am the door. Uh, John 10, 7. Remember, dito po sa part na to, 9 and 10, ang, ang animosity, ang galit ang, 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 ng mga religious leaders are increasing, di ba? Uh, because Jesus again and again uh, referred to them as uh, thieves, uh, robbers, false prophets, and all, wolves even. So, galit na yung mga religious leaders at this point. So, and then, I am the good shepherd. John 10, 11, dito naman, he was referring to the same mga religious leaders as saying, you are the false shepherd. I am the good and the true shepherd that, uh, that Israel has been waiting for. And then, ito na yun yung topic natin. I am the resurrection and the life. So, okay, let's begin. So, as always, explain natin yung I am ni Jesus. No? Kasi sa, sa seven statements ni Jesus, yung I am niya, 
ang 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 arrangement grammatical arrangement nito is parang redundant however yan po yung tetragrammaton ng no word na i am uh, ginamit ni Jesus as he's claiming sa so seven statements niya is claiming to be the messiah no? so john 11:25 jesus said to her i am ego imi naman alam po natin yan i ego am imi Therefore, it's ego imi. Alam po natin do, this is the fifth na series natin. It means I exist and I am existing now. I have been existing and it is I and I was. No? So, yan po yung tetragrammaton, the name of God, Yahweh. I am that I am or I am who I am. He is one and the same as God. So, yan po yung claim ni Jesus. So, seven, I am statements to Jesus start with him claiming to be the Messiah, the long-awaited Messiah of Israel. Okay, so let's proceed. So before I uh, let's start from verse 1 all the way to verse 40 so we can understand exactly what is happening claim of Jesus. And as I read, I will explain so para maintindihan natin. No? I suggest na open nyo rin yung Bible nyo and yung mga, 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 mga study Bible, you can check on the commentaries then. Okay, let's begin. So now a certain man was ill. So may sakit, Lazarus of Bethany. So ito yung si Lazarus, na I, I, I hope we are all familiar with the story. If not, so ito po yung verse. And may kita doon natin, uh, si, uh, sa Mary and Martha, mga kapatid ni Lazarus, may kita doon natin sa Luke 10, nung, yung encounter na kay Jesus. Okay. Now, a certain man was in Lazarus of Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister, Martha. So, tatlong magkakapatid, Lazarus, Mary, and Martha. It was Mary who anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was ill. So, the sister sent to him, saying, Lord, he whom you have, you love, is ill. But when Jesus heard it, he said, the illness does not lead to death. It is for the glory of God so that the Son of God may be glorified through, through it. Now, it was Mary who anointed the Lord with ointment. So the sisters, they sent a message to Jesus. Now, ang itong Bethany na to, hindi to yung Bethany na tinutukoy na if you go back to John 10, uh, di ba galit na yung mga tao kay Jesus, then he crossed dun sa Jordan River at ang iba isang place doon ang tawag doon sa along the river yung pagcross nila Bethany hindi yun ang Bethany na tinutukoy dito this is another place whereby yung travel from kung saan uh, yung Bethany na yun ay kung uh, uh, ang distance ng Bethany na yun or kung saan nag 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 uh, uh, nagduck yung boat ni na Jesus uh, when they cross the river Jordan at itong Bethany yung maliit na Bethany doon tapos itong Bethany na village ni na Lazarus and Mary and Martha, ang distance nito is like a day's travel. No? So alam ni, alam ni Martha and ni Mary na nandun si Jesus, so they sent a message to Jesus saying na may sakit si Lazarus. So meaning, yung, yung pagpadala ng message nila, pagdating dun, when the person, yung messenger na, when he, the messenger reached Jesus, it was already like a day na has passed no, one day ang travel. So, however, ang sabi ni Jesus, uh, this illness does not lead to death. It is for the glory of God so that the Son of God may be glorified through it. So, this is a, a, a clarification of Jesus kasi ang alam natin yung mga Jews, they have this uh, belief na illness uh, usually is connected or linked to, to sin. No? illness or death or it's a punishment however clarify ni jesus data this illness does not lead to death it is for the glory of god so the reason for this is illness is to glorify god kung anong gagawin ni jesus sa issue sa status ni lazarus okay so let's proceed so if you have any questions write them down at sagutin natin mamaya verse 5 now jesus loved martha and her sister and lazarus so when he heard that lazarus was ill he stayed two days longer in the place where he was. So imagine, may sakit si Lazarus, a messenger was sent, it was already a day had passed, and then Jesus stayed two more days 
Even na alam niya na may sakit si Lazarus. But he stayed. Why? Because sa lugar na yun, sa Bethany na yun, sa isang Bethany, uh, it was a place where John the Baptist was preaching. And he, John the Baptist was preparing the hearts of men. And he was talking about Jesus. And then Jesus came and preached. And the many believed. So, ang ministry ni Jesus sa lugar na yun was actually doing really good. Na maraming taong naniniwala. Many believed in the Messiah, in Him. So he stayed two more days in the place where he was. Then after this, he said to the disciples, let us go to, to Judea again. The, the, the disciples said to him, Rabbi, the Jews were just now seeking to stone you. And are you going there again? Diba galing silang Judea? Pumunta silang, they crossed the Jordan River. No? They crossed the Jordan. Nagkita natin yan sa John 10. Now Jesus is saying, let's go back dun sa Judea. No? Kasi nandun malapit sa Judea naman, yung, uh, actually Bethany is part of Judea. Uh, yung Bethany kay Lazarus. No? So, tapos sabi ni, 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 I think it was Tama, sabi niya, uh, so when he heard Lazarus was ill, he stayed two days longer in a place where he was. Then after that, he said to his disciples, let us go to Judea again. The disciples said to him, Rabbi, the Jews were just now seeking to stone you and are you going there again? Because they, the Jews, when they say the Jews, referring to the religious leaders, di ba galit sila kay Jesus because Jesus had uh, insulted them, uh, calling them names, robbers, thieves, wolves, and so on. So are, are, are you going there again? And Jesus answered, are there not 12 hours in the day? If anyone walks in the day, he does not stumble because he sees the light of this world. He's referring again the light of this world as himself. He's saying, as long as the, the Father has a, a, a work for me to fulfill, I'll keep on working. But if anyone walks in the night, he stumbles because the light is not in him. So while Jesus is still around, while Jesus is still on earth, I will not stop working. But the moment na, and you are safe as my disciples. Now, when I die, uh, night, he stumbles because the light is not in him. So, sila din mismo, because the light is not in, 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 with them, I then... <clears throat> okay, so, but if anyone walks in the night, pag wala na si Jesus, kaya when he goes back to yung, uh, when he goes back to heaven, after sa kanyang death, he stumbles because the light is not in him. So, he's referring to them. You know, they stumble because wala na yung light in him. Now, after saying these things, he said to them, our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I go to awaken him. Now, take note. Sabi ni Jesus dito. So, ito, third day na, di ba? Two days had, wasang araw sa messenger ng pinadala, tapos he stayed two more days. So, third day na to. Two days. No, uh, almost fourth day. No, But I go to awaken him. So, the disciples said to him, Lord, if he has fallen asleep, he will recover. Now, Jesus had spoken to his, of his death, but they thought that he meant taking rest in sleep. So now the disciples, sabi ni Jesus kasi, he has fallen asleep. But what he meant, that he already died. So alam ni Jesus that, he already, that Lazarus already died. Of course, he's omniscient. No, alam na alam ni Jesus na, ang sabi ng messenger, Lazarus is ill, but alam ni Jesus na patay na si Lazarus. Maybe Lazarus even died before the messenger reached Jesus. No to tell him about what happened. Now, sabi ni Jesus, now he's already dead. In plain words, he's dead. No? Now, Jesus has spoken of his death, but they thought that he meant taking rest in sleep. So, uh, the disciples, the disciples said to him, Lord, if he has fallen asleep, he will recover. So, somehow, the disciples were saying, no, let's start, it's not, he's just sleeping, Lord. Let's stay here because our ministry is flourishing here and Ang maraming naniniwala, naniwala sa claim ni Jesus Christ as the, is the Messiah. It was already preached before by John the Baptist. So yung mga tao doon sa Bethany na yun were already prepared by John the Baptist about Jesus Christ. Now, so maganda yung nangyayari doon sa ministry nila. Many people believe and uh, the gospel has been spreading the word. What Jesus was preaching that he's the Messiah was spreading so quickly and the people were believing Kaya ang sabi ng disciples, it's convenient here, dito lang tayo. However, sabi ni Jesus nga, na he needs to awaken 
Lazarus. Then Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus has died, and for your sake, I am glad that I was not there. No. Lazarus has died, and for your sake, I am glad that I was not there, so that you may believe. Now, bakit sinabi ni Jesus na, na, and for your sake, I am glad that I was not there. Because if Jesus was there, for sure, hindi mamatay si Lazarus. Because he would heal them. And, um, Mary and Martha would ask Jesus to heal Lazarus. And then, definitely, pagalingin ni Jesus Christ si Lazarus. Now, his disciples, si Martha, si Mary, pag makita mo din yung encounter nila with Jesus sa Lupe, a year, alam po natin that Jesus has already performed miracles. At itong mga taong to, they wit witnessed Jesus even... Uh, uh, ano yung na-witness nila? Multiplied yung, yung, yung bread. No? Yung bread and fish. Jesus walk on water. Jesus healed the blind. And uh, pag tingnan mo din, may dalawang uh, Jesus healed yung anak ng hindi lang healed but raised to life yung anak ng uh, anak ni Jairus. Yung daughter ni Jairus. At saka yung naalala nyo yung young man na matay na only child uh, na nasa funeral procession na sa Nain, sa lugar ng Nain, and Jesus raised the young man to life. But many were already actually uh, contending um, what happened to those two because they're saying, maybe hindi talaga namatay yun. Uh, maybe they were just about to die and then Jesus performed a miracle. It was not a raising of the dead to life, but it was healing now, they were just about to die, mga buhay pa yun. So, yun yung mga argument. However, uh, most likely, meron din siguro yung mga, yung mga disciples, they might have uh, that in mind na uh, si pinagaling lang ni Jesus yung dalawa. We don't really know. But ang sabi ni Jesus dito, sa verse 15, And for your sake, I am glad that I was not there so that you may believe. Ano yung believe? This, this, so that whatever doubts you have, about me, I cleared lahat. That you may believe that I am indeed the Messiah, the Son of God. And I have the authority to, to give life you know, and to resurrect the dead. But let us go to him. Let's proceed. That you may believe, but let us go to him. So Thomas called the twin, said to his fellow disciples, let us also go that we may die with him. So may kita natin dito yung loyalty nila uh, kay Jesus Christ. That their Messiah, their teacher, I, is going back to Judea that, that the people, the, the religious leaders were already uh, about to stone him when he escaped, di ba? Si Jesus Christ. And then alam ni Thomas, now he's going back to Judea to see his friend or to raise Lazarus to life. At alam naman natin na galit yung mga religious leaders and they will definitely kill Jesus and even them as his disciples. So yun ang sinabi niya. Let us also go that we may die with them. So, it was somehow na to show that they are faithful to Jesus Christ but also it shows a bit of doubt na Mahamatay si Jesus. At sinabi ni Jesus na I will raise even Lazarus to life. And then they, they have this, especially kay Thomas, kaya doubting Thomas ka siya na he has this doubt na pag walang magawa si Jesus, papatayin siya doon. And baka din tayo madamay kung we all die. But anyway, they went. Now when Jesus came, so he came to the place of Lazarus. So he found that Lazarus had already been entombed for four days. So, Calculate. Yung pinadala yung messenger, Lazarus was ill. One day's travel, pagdating doon, one day na. Then Jesus stayed two more days, and then itong araw na to, pang-apat na araw na pumunta. Kasi travel din ni Jesus, one day din eh. No. So four days, di ba? So four days. But alam natin na wala namang news ng sabi kay Jesus na patay na si Lazarus. Ang news was Lazarus was ill. But ang sabi ni Jesus, Lazarus already died. Alam na alam ni Jesus Christ. Of course, he's God. So now when Jesus came, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for 
days. Bethany was near Jerusalem, about two miles off, and many of the Jews had come to Martha, Martha and Mary to console them concerning their brother. So what does this tell us? So yung Bethany na to, tinutukoy dito malapit sa Jerusalem. So hindi na yung Bethany, maliit na Bethany na nagpuntahan ni Jesus Christ nung pag-escape niya. So Bethany was in Jerusalem about two miles off and many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to console them concerning their brother. Now, ang kustumbre ng mga Jews, pag namatay, they hire mourners. Usually, pag, pag mahirap lang, ilan-ilan lang, konti lang yung mga mourners na uh, hinahire nila. Ang, ang trabaho ng mga mourners is to mourn, to cry, to wail sa, sa funeral. No? At uh, ang sabi dito, many, no, many, many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to console, and Martha and Mary to console them concerning their brother. So it it also it only shows na they're of a prominent family at marami at kung 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 ito mga Jews na to ay higher Jews, so marami silang pera, they're rich, they're wealthy enough to hire more uh, many mourners. However. It could also mean that uh, because they are a prominent family, they're well known sa kanilang village, na uh, they're kind people, that marami ang uh, empathize and sympathize with them uh, sa death ni, to grieve with them sa nangyari kay Lazarus. So, so when Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him, but many remained seated in the house. Now, remember, ang, ang, ang kustom rin nila, In the same day, pag namatay, ililibing nila kaagad yan. Parang dito din, ililibing nila kaagad. Um, however, yung morning, yung pagmumorn nila, last for seven days dun sa bahay. And even after seven days, nandun yung mga hired na mourners, yung mga tagaiyak, yung mga those people who are, itong seven days na itong intense morning, no? they don't wanna do something or even show or a hint of happiness or gladness or positivity sa 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 bahay nila but heavy mourning sa seven days then after that mourning continues for another 30 days but in a, in a lighter uh, uh, in a lighter mood na itong pagmo-mourn la sa 30 days so seven days plus 30 days so what happens usually sa uh, what happens yung uh, customer ng mga Jews is when a person dies Immediately, ililibing nila the same day. However, yung morning, yung, yung para bang lamay, uh, dun na sa bahay for seven days. So, ano yung custom rin nila? What happens when a person dies? They wrap it, them in linen. Pero hindi tulad ng sa mga, sa mga Egyptian na parang mami na they're so tight. Do, sa mga Jews, hindi lang light lang, uh, loose lang siya. Kasi nilagyan nila ng mga spices. Ang purpose ng spices is not... Ang purpose ng spices is not to prevent decay but to at least somehow to uh, minimize or control the smell sa katawan dahil patay na nga. And they wrap the body and separately they wrap the head as well. So iba yung pag-wrap nila. Hindi tulad ng mga mami sa, sa Egypt na tight. They're tightly uh, wrapped no? so iba sa kanila. So mini ang nangyayon dito kay Lazarus when he died on that day nilibing na nila. Ang libing nila is they don't dig uh, graves para do, uh, ilagay yun. Alam po natin ang gusto. Usually, tulad nung namatay si Jesus, di ba, yung tomb na binigay ni Joseph of Arimathea is parang cave. So in the same way, ganito din ang, 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 ang tomb ni Lazarus. Para siyang cave and even yung iba, malalaking cave at nilalagyan ng compartments even para sa kanilang other family members. Tapos yung yung sa uh, yung pintuan is like a huge uh, a rock na door yun yung iroroll. So ibig sabihin at this time nandoon na si Lazarus sa tomb, no? He's already in the tomb for four days. And yung morning continue sa bahay ni Martha and Mary. So balik sa verse 19 and many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to console them concerning their brother. So continuous yung morning nila doon yung pagwiwail nila no so when martha heard that jesus was coming so on the fourth day of lazarus death martha heard nandiyan si jesus christ he's on his way hindi pa nakarating but jesus still on on his way papunta sa kanila she went and met him so 
hindi na niya hinintay na makarating si Jesus sa bahay nila. She went and met Jesus. No? Uh, sinalubong niya si Jesus kasi alam naman nila kung saan ang daan papunta sa kanila. From where Jesus came. But Mary remained seated in the house. So Mary remained seated. It was Martha na who met Jesus Christ. If you want to see the character of Mary and Martha, tignan niyo sa Luke 10. Ibang mag, magkaiba talaga yung dalawa. No? Si Martha yung medyo active. Uh, si Mary, sa, dun sa Luke 10, may kita natin, si Mary was there at the feet of Jesus listening sa preachings ni sa teaching ni Jesus while si Mary nandoon sa kusina nagpre-prepare nagse-serve ng pagkain she was active and even she complained even to Jesus kung basahin niyo doon she complained to Jesus bakit hinayaan lang daw ni Jesus na siya lang yung magtrabaho busy busy however si Mary nandoon lang nakaupo na nakikinig sa kanya sa kay Jesus so ito yung character so makikita natin dito here In the times of mourning, the times of uh, grieving, itong, itong magkapatid, when Martha heard that Jesus was coming, I don't know kung ano yung nasa, nasa puso niya. Nagalit ba siya na hindi pumunta kagat si Jesus? Or was she excited because Jesus is coming? But siya yung impulsive. Si Mary yung kalma lang, kalmado, nasa bahay lang. Tapos si Martha went her way to meet Jesus Christ. Most likely sa road, no? Okay, let's proceed. So verse 21. Martha said to Jesus, so nagkita na sila, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. So, yan ang kita natin na andun sa puso ni Martha, kung andito na si Jesus, kung pumunta ka lang ka agad, no, the moment na pinadalahan ka ng, or since you are the Messiah, you should, you should have already known na may sakit si Lazarus. Pumunta ka na sana nandito. So Lord, if you had been here, My brother would not have died. But even now, see, mahita natin sa first part ng, ng sinabi ni Martha, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would ha- not have died. So ibig sabihin, si Martha had this thinking na wala na magawa. Wala na. Wala ka na magawa. He's already dead. No, It shows na kulang yung faith ni Martha. However, sa verse 22 naman, there's a glimmer of hope somehow. No? But even now, I know that whatever you ask from God, God will give you. So Martha was uh, saying, uh, I know that you do what the fa- your, your father's will. And I know that whatever you ask uh, from the father, the father will give you. So, My hope, si Martha, na sana si Jesus would pray to the Father and maybe brother alive. No? So, may kita natin yan sa faith ni Martha na, okay, uh, there's a part na nasa isip niya na wala na magawa si Jesus kasi sabi niya, if you would have been here, hindi sana namatay kasi pagalingin mo. So, may kita natin na si Martha had all out faith that Jesus can heal pero wala, may doubt siya if Jesus can resurrect someone from the dead. Kasi sabi niya, kung dito ka, for sure pagalingin mo. However, patay na siya, wala ka na magawa. Wala tayong magawa. But sa verse 22, sinabi niya, but if you ask something, alam, po, alam ko na when you ask something from God, God will give you. Okay? So verse 23, Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. So yun lang sabi ni Jesus Christ, don't worry, relax, be at ease your brother will rise again. Now Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. May kita natin dito ang theology ni Martha. May kita natin dito na maganda yung strong, solid ang theology ni Martha. Kasi alam niya na nakikinig siya kay Jesus yung sinabi ni Jesus na lahat ng ginagawa niya comes from the Father. Na, na ang he's only doing the will of the Father. Kaya yun ang sabi niya sa prayer niya. If you ask, if it is God's will, God will give you. Strong theology. Second, alam ni Martha yung uh, the resurrection. No? Jesus said, your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. So alam yung eschatology, strong yung eschatology or study of the last days, no? theology sa last days. Ni Martha. Alam niya, there's a resurrection. On the last day, there's a resurrection day for everyone. No, yan. Alam niya. Sabi niya. Alam ko. 
on the last day. That would be thousands of years from now. Alam ko that my, my brother will rise again. However, ang sagot ni Jesus, Jesus said to her, sa verse 25, I am. Hindi niya sinabing I will be. No? Sabi niya, I am the resurrection and the life. I am now the resurrection and the life. You don't have to wait. I don't have. I am not bound by time. I don't have to wait for the last day to resurrect everyone. I am the resurrection and the life. I have the authority to resurrect and give life. So yan ang sabi ni Jesus Christ in verse 25. I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. Now, pag titignan nyo li yung Greek word ng believes, it's piestuo, ace, again. You know, believes in. Whoever gives life to me, whoever entrusts his life to me as a savior because a person knows that there's no way he can save himself, a person acknowledges, oh, you or I acknowledges that, acknowledges that I am a sinner and I can't save myself from the wrath of God, from the punishment of sin. That is why I'm giving my life to Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the anointed one, the Savior. So I'm giving myself, my life to Jesus to save me. So yan ang ibig sabihin ng believes me. Whoever gives his life, you know, entrusts his life to me, though he die physically, yet shall he live you know, spiritually. And on the last day, the Lord will raises up. Mahikita po natin yan sa 1 Corinthians chapter 15. It's about the resurrection of Jesus. It's about the resurrection of everyone. And, and, uh, and verse 20 is, and everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die. And everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? Yan ang tanong niya kay Martha. No? Sabi ni Jesus Kamata, I am now. You, we don't have to wait for the last day. I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall live. That yet shall he live. And everyone who lives because of, by believing, no, by believing in Jesus Christ and believes in me shall never die. Shall never die spiritually. Do you believe this? No. Then ang sagot ni, ni Martha, makikita din natin yung, sabi ko nga, yung solid theology ni Martha. She said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe. I believe that what? I believe that, that you are the Christ. You are the Son of God. You are the Messiah. You are the, 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 the Savior that we have been waiting for. I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, you know, who claims to be God, the Son of God. I am you know, who is coming in the world. So they've been waiting for this Messiah, for this Savior. And Martha said, I believe that you are the one that we are waiting for. I believe that you are the Savior. You are the Son of God. So magkita natin yung theology ni Martha. Now, she really understood. So if you go back to Luke 10, while Jesus was teaching, at si Mary, nasa harap ni Jesus, o sa, sa feet ni Jesus, while listening to Jesus, while si Martha nandun si, sa kitchen, preparing the food and so on, we can say, we can tell na si Martha was also listening and learning while busy doon sa moment na yun. No? Because may kita natin ito, he, she learned na ito, it, it takes one uh, to believe that Jesus is the Christ, that Jesus is the Son of God, and He's the one that they've been waiting for to be saved. Because they're talking about live, about resurrection here already. So when she had said this, she went and called her sister Mary, saying in private. So, pagkatapos sinabi ni, ni, Mar ni Martha, bumalik siya sa bahay nila to tell her sister. While Jesus continued walking, punta doon sa kanila, no? Then, sinabi niya kay Mary, the teacher is here and is calling for you. And when she heard it, she rose quickly and went to him. So Mary rose quickly and went to Jesus. Now, Jesus had not yet come into the village. So hindi pa rin nakarating si Jesus. 
but was still in the place where Martha had met him. So Jesus stayed there. And then Martha went and then Mary came with Martha. So verse 31, when the Jews who were with her in the house, consoling her. So like I said, they were there in the house of Mary and Martha to console them, uh, to mourn with them, to grieve with them. Uh, with her in the house, consoling her. So Mary rise quickly and go out. They followed her, supposing that she was going to the tomb to weep there. So, yun ang naisip nila. Baka gusto ni Martha dun sa, sa tomb to continue weeping there, mourning there. Sab sinabayan din nila dun. So, they followed her. Now, hindi sinabayan, but sinundan. No? They followed her. Now, when Mary came to where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet, saying to him, Lord. No? Jesus, they called Jesus, Lord, my God, my Lord. If you had been here, my brother would not have died. Same statement na sinabi ni Martha. So we, could, we can say na pare-pareho yung level ng faith nila, pare-pareho yung understanding nila, or baka sinabihan nung isa ni Martha din. Na, andito na, dumating na yung master, andito na si Jesus. Sana kung andito lang siya, hindi sana namatay si Lazarus. And maybe... Uh, tumatak yun sa isip ni, ni Mary. So when Mary met Jesus, yun din yung sinabi niya. No? Lord, or pareho talaga sila ng understanding on who Jesus is at that time na Jesus can heal kung may sakit. Pero wala sa isip nila that Jesus can resurrect someone to life. So when Jesus saw her weeping, no, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jews who had come with her also weeping, he was deeply moved in his spirit and greatly troubled. Now, yung weeping po dito, hindi lang, yung literally weeping and wailing. They were loudly crying and weeping and wailing. So, ang, ang Greek word niya describes na loud, no? Na pag-iiyak. Uh, they, because they're mourning. And may, na feeling Jesus yung grief nila, yung pain nila, their loss about... Uh, 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 kay Lazarus and of course since close to Jesus and Lazarus yung loss din niya so he was deeply moved in his spirit and greatly troubled yung move actually dito he is not greatly moved because of the emotion but he was great, uh, deeply moved indignant yung pagka sinabi yung move dito ni Jesus so somehow Jesus was angry about Sin, because alam po natin, the wages of sin is death. Because of sin, people die and many go to hell. Greatly and greatly troubled. And he said, where have you laid him? Where have you laid Lazarus? They said to him, Lord, come and see. So they went. And then Jesus wept. Jesus wept. See, nakita niya yung loss, nakita niya yung grief ng mga tao, nakita nila yung how people love Lazarus. And... Uh, he himself also opened himself sa, as a human being, wept at uh, umiyak to Jesus Christ. And yung, yung pag-iyak niya dito, hindi tulad ng sa kanila, na they were loudly crying, but sa kanya was silently at yung tears niya was pouring out. And kasama na yun, according sa mga sinabi ng mga commentaries, it's not only yung loss niya sa, kay Lazarus, na namatay si Lazarus, is not only nakita niya yung, yung pain ng mga tao, but it's mainly uh, it's because of sin. Ano yung, uh, what the sin has brought sa humanity, which is death. No? So Jesus wept. So yan po yung shortest verse sa Bible. John 11, 35. Jesus wept. So the Jews said, see how he loved him. So no nakita ng mga Jews, yung mga tao na Jesus cried, Maybe that was the first time that he told us Jesus na we are, and say, see how he loved him. But some of them said, could not he who opened the eyes of the blind man also have kept this man from dying? Pare pareho sila, even yung mga 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 Jews, yun pare ang nasa isip nila. Na kung si Jesus nakap nagpagaling ng isang blind, saan ako ang dito siya? Napagaling niya sa si si Lazaro, na hindi sana namatay. Wala, sa, wala talaga sa isip nila that Jesus is powerful enough to raise the dead to life. 
Ang nasa isip lang na Jesus can heal uh, the sick. So let's proceed. Verse 38. Then Jesus, deeply moved again, came to the tomb. It was a cave, like I said, and as a stone, and a stone lay against it. So yung stone yung door. And Jesus said, take away the stone to open the grave. Martha, the sister of the dead man, said to him, Lord, by this time there will be an order, for he has been dead for four days. He has been dead four days. So, apat na araw ng patay si Lazarus. Imagine. So, anong nangyayari? Yung mga, mga medical, uh, back, may medical background dito, or yung sa science lang. Pag namatay yung tao, ilang minutes lang, pag wala na oxygen yung katawan, uh, I don't know hours na nagsastart na yung pagdedicate ng katawan. No? At imagine ito, four days na. At kaya sabi ni Martha, mabaho na yun, may amoy na. Kasi nag, is, di, nag, na, to, yung in process na yung pagdedicate sa katawan ni Lazarus. Kasi apat na araw na yun, patay. No? So, winarninga niya si Jesus. Lord, by this time, there will be an order for he has been dead for four days. Baka naisip ni, ni Martha siguro, hindi pa siya convinced na sinabi ni Jesus, I am the resurrection. It supposed to be a hint na I will resurrect him. Pero nasa isip siguro ni Martha this time na because Jesus loved Lazarus that for the last time he wanted to see him. No. But hindi yan ang purpose ni Jesus. Alam po natin yan. So Lord, by this time, there will be an order for he has been dead four days. Jesus said to her, did I not tell you that if you believed, you would see the glory of God? So remember, many times, balik-balik ng sabi ni Jesus dito, believe, believe. If you believe, you will live. If you believe, you will not die. If you believe, you will see the glory of God. Take note, ang, believe na, ang word na believe dito is if you entrust, you know, if you entrust your life, entrust your life to me. You know, depend on me. If you believe, you will see the glory of God. If you depend on me, if you entrust your life to me, you will not die. You will live again. No? Let's proceed. Verse 41. So they took away the stone and Jesus lifted up. So most likely when they opened the tomb, na, no? there was a stench already. No? So they took away the stone and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, and Jesus prayed. So alam ni Mo, uh, yung, yung, yung sinabi ni Martha na I know na if you ask whatever you ask from your father, your father will give you. So, or whatever you ask from God, God will give you. So Jesus prayed, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I knew that you always hear me. But I said this on account of the people standing around that they may believe that you sent me. So again, nag si Jesus, he's not asking for power to raise Lazarus, but he was thanking God you know, that itong mangyayari dito, this is for the benefit of the people, for the people to see a great miracle na four days ng patay, that he will raise to life. You know? hindi, yung, hindi yung mga questionable yung may mga arguments about yung daughter ni Cyrus at saka yung young man sa funeral procession na na sinabi nyo, oh, namatay yan kanina eh. Baka hindi, hindi, pa, hindi pa yun patay. Baka Jesus just healed them and we maybe they were in comatose or something and then Jesus healed them kasi he had the power to heal. He has the power to heal. But ito is, kaya sabi ni Jesus that they may believe fully that you sent me, that I am he, that I am the Messiah, I am who I am, you know? that I am the resurrection and the life, that I have the authority to resurrect somebody from the dead and to give life. You know? So, yan ang pinapasalamat ni Jesus Christ. For the benefit of the people, thank God. You know, sabi niya. So, verse 43, when he had said these things, he cried out with a loud voice, he called Lazarus. Lazarus, come out. Sa other version, Lazarus, come forth. You know? So parang born again experience. So the dead has given life through the call. Ang call ni Jesus gave life to Lazarus. Lazarus, come out. The man who had died came out. His hands and feet bound with linen strips. 
So, nakaganyan pa si Lazarus, bound pa yung hands and feet niya. But like I said, yung kustumbre naman ng mga Jews, hindi siya tightly fit, loose lang. No? So, nakalakad pa rin si Lazarus and feet bound with linen strips and his face wrapped with a cloth. Jesus said to them, to the people, and bind him and let him go. So, imagine, you were there sa scene na yun. Imagine, pagbukas ng do, pagbukas ng, pag, when they roll the stone, no? ano yung sasalubong sa'yo? Yung stench, yung smell of the dead, yung decay ng flesh. And then when Jesus called the dead, na four days dead na, wala nang question dun, wala nang arguments dun, na baka buhay pa yun. At pinagaling lang ni Jesus, he was already dead for four days. Makikita natin sa Ezekiel, yung, yung illustration ni, ng Panginoon sa born again is hindi lang dead, hindi lang drowning and then somebody throws you uh, yung anong tawag nito? Uh, throws you a rope no? para so you can hold on it and then people will pull you out of the water. No, ang, ang illustration sa Ezekiel, makikita Ezekiel 15 I think, may kita natin doon na dry bones nga ang sinabi. No? If you, pwede nyo i-search sa internet, Ezekiel dry bones. Dry bones. Bones na, skeleton na, dried na. And then God raised them up to life. Same here kay Lazarus. Decaying for four days. Wala nang arguments, wala nang question, baka buhay pa yun. No? Baka Jesus just healed him. Baka may sakit, no. Jesus raised Lazarus to life. Jesus call gives life. Yung, 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 yung tawag ni Jesus kay Lazarus, may kasamang buhay. Then life, because he is the author of life. Sabi nga sa John 14, sa John 1, uh, he, is the, uh, he is the light, uh, he is the life. No? Jesus is the life. So, Lazarus come out, the man who had died came out. And imagine yourself witnessing that. So wouldn't you believe in Jesus Christ? Kaya sabi niya, thank God, because of this miracle that I am about to perform, many will believe that I am indeed sent by the Father. So many of the Jews, therefore, who had come with Mary and seen what he did, believed in him, many believed. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. So it's always like that. Hindi lahat ng tao maniniwala. Otherwise, walang mapuntang hell. So, marami sa atin, um, we have seen miracles in the lives of others. Na nung itong tao ang to, napaka bad boy, napaka nasinggero, napaka problematic, and then the Lord changed the person. No? He was dead, and then the Lord gave him life, a new life, the born again, at nagbago. So, there's 180 degrees turn you know, from sin to God. So, marami yan. Those are miracles na hindi lang natin nakikita. But many of us, nakikita na yung miracles na parang ganito, ginawa ni Jesus sa buhay na ibang tao, and yet people still refuse to believe. Why? If you go to John 3.16 all the way to 21, I think, makikita natin dun na ang reason why people don't believe, believe because they love their sin. They love their sin. So that's the reason why. And even sa preaching last time, sa Friday, that the reason people cannot believe because God has blinded them. You know, blinded their, the eyes of their heart not to believe. The God of this age blinded the eyes of the unbelievers. Sa preaching last time, it's hindi yung God of this age, hindi si Satan. God himself you know, um, um, prevented people God did not lavish his grace upon them and give and give them faith. Kaya marami could not believe. They did not believe because they could not believe. They cannot believe. Okay, let's proceed. So many of the Jews believe and others did not. So yan po yung story. I hope you understand na intindihan po natin yung story. Kung may mga tanong kayo, ask me pagkatapos nito. So now let's go back sa ating verse. 
John 11:25. Intindihin natin ano yung resurrection at ano yung life na sinasabi ni Jesus dito. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection. Ano yung resurrection? So the Greek word is anastasis. A standing up again, that is literally a resurrection from death. So ang claim ni Jesus dito is very specific. I am the resurrection, not resuscitation. I am the resurrection. Somebody who died already, I will give life and make them stand again. What else? Recovery. No, a recovery. And raised to life again. So alive, dead, and then raised to life again. Resurrection. Rise from the dead that should rise, rising again. So very clear ang claim ni Jesus dito. I am the resurrection. Ang resurrection na sinasabi niya, dead to life. Hindi sick to healing. Hindi blind to, be, to being able to see, but dead to life. Yan ang claim ni Jesus Christ. No? So, ang mga Jews, they know about this because ito yung sinabi ni Job sa Old Testament. At alam po natin yung mga Jews. If, kaya si Martha, she knew about the last day na may resurrection day. Job 19, 25 to 27 says, for I know that my Redeemer lives and at the last he will stand upon the earth after my skin has been thus destroyed. So after I died, yet in my flesh I shall see God. In my flesh, not in my spirit. So yun ang sinabi ni Job. And the Jews believe that people will accept sa mga uh, Pharisees. Yeah. Sa mga Pharisees, they don't believe in resurrection. No. Pharisees or Sadducees. So, and after my skin has been thus destroyed, yet in my flesh, I shall see God. In my flesh, with resurrected body, I shall see God. Whom I shall see for myself, and my eyes shall behold. And not another, my heart paints within me. Yan sinabi ni Job. No. So, uh, this is the old, an Old Testament Uh, scripture. Kaya alam-alam ng mga, alam ng mga Jews at the time of Jesus na may resurrection aside for those who do not in, intentionally believe about the resurrection. But it is a common teaching no? narinig nila na there's a resurrection day at the last day. Everyone will rise. Daniel 12.2 And many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake some to everlasting life believers who rise to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Now, understand this. When a believer dies, immediately your spirit will be with the Lord. Yan ang sabi ni Paul. Okay? But your body will remain here whether kinain niya ng pating or nakremate yan or whatever. Will remain here on earth. Now, ang tinutukoy dito, ito po yung Raising of the dead to life. You know? Raising, uh, ito yung glorified body. Ito yung, kung nandun ka kaysa Panginoon, uh, when, when a Christian dies now, yung spirit niya will be with the Lord. But when this, in the second coming, you know, sa, sa, sa rapture, di ba ang sabi doon, na ang, ang, the dead will rise to life, will rise to life and even yung mga hindi patay, will be caught up in the sky in the clouds no so kung yung yung mga patay na with Jesus now yung spirit na when Jesus comes back sa rapture yung spirit nila will reunite with their resurrected body no kahit kinain pa yan ng pating o whatever yung resurrected body god is god it will resurrect niya yung body a glorified body uh, designed to be in the presence of god no? designed to uh, To be in the presence of God. Otherwise, pag hindi ganun, masusunog lang yung katawan. So yung born, mga Christians will rise to life, to everlasting life. And yung hindi will rise to shame and everlasting contempt. John 5, 27-29 And he has given him authority to execute judgment because he is the son of man. Jesus is the son of man. He has been given the authority to judge. Do not marvel at this for an hour is coming When all who are in the tombs, all who are dead, will hear his voice and come out, those who have done good to the resurrection 
of life now ang good po dito you don't hindi na save ang tao because of what you do but ang good po dito is the result of your salvation no those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of judgment or sa ibang uh, translation condemnation or damnation so others will go will be will live forever will be resurrected to everlasting life with the lord and others will be resurrected to have a body suited to feel every pain in hell so yan lang so both will be resurrected lahat ng tao will be resurrected others will be resurrected to everlasting life with the lord jesus christ others will be resurrected to have a body to feel to be tortured to suffer every pain in hell so yan po yun alam na alam po yan ng mga Jews they have that belief already and i hope tayo din ngayon na we are now convinced that there are so many verses in the bible na in the end we will all rise to life yung katawan natin no. to life for believers and damnation or condemnation for unbelievers so knowing this please preach the gospel to your family let's okay let's go back so tapos na yung resurrection ano naman to yung life let's investigate kanin yung life dito so again it's zoe ito yung life it says life as god has it so eternal life ito Hindi lang siya physical life, but alam mo na, yes, Jesus is the giver of physical life and spiritual life. But itong Zoe is spiritual life. Father, no, life as God has it, that which the Father has in Himself, and which He gave to the incarnate Son to have in Himself, and which the Son manifested in the world. From this life, man has become alienated in consequence of fall. So of the fall, so it's about it's a spiritual life, no? separated yung tao because of sin, separated from God. Ephesians 4:18, and of this life, men become partakers through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Through faith, through believing, through entrusting your life to Christ, you will have this life, this spiritual life, this eternal life. Yan ang sabi ng Bible. Through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, not in it, to in anybody else, but in the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, to the Martha, she believed that Jesus is the Son of God. She believed that Jesus is the Savior. Yan faith in the Lord Jesus Christ as Savior and as Son of God and as God. John three fifteen, who becomes its author to all such as as trust in Him. So, yung author ng life, Acts three fifteen. And who is therefore said to be the life of the believer. So if you are a believer now, this is the kind, the, the life that you have. Eternal life, the life of the Father and the life of Jesus Christ and the life of the Holy Spirit. You have that life in you. Kaya nga, it's eternal life. And you don't lose it and it never dies. Because that's the life of God. Pag nawala yan, pag namatay yan, ng eternal life, then hindi siya eternal then God will die. No? Then God ceases to be God. I hope you understand this. Kaya when the Lord works in us and He gave us His life eternally and in ang presence ng Holy Spirit, which has yan ang link natin sa Panginoon to have that life, the presence of the Holy Spirit in us. At ang sabi ng John 15, John 14, 15, John chapter 14 and chapter 15 even, ang sabi doon, John 14 specifically, ang sabi doon, that when the Holy Spirit comes and dwells in us, He will never leave us. So that's the security of salvation. That's the security that you will never lose eternal life. Yeah. Okay, let's proceed. Colossians 3, 4. For the life that He gives, He maintains. I don't maintain the life that I have. God maintains. Do you believe that God can maintain the life that he has given you, of course. So you'll never lose that life. John 6, 35, 63, eternal life is the present actual possession of the believer because of his relationship with Christ. We have, as believers, we have eternal life now. Hindi yung pag namatay ka na, then mag-starting eternal life. No. 
you have eternal life now because that's the life of God and God is dwelling in us. John 14, the, tri the triune God dwells in us. So, yan ang claim ni Jesus Christ. I am the resurrection. Yung resurrection, we've already discussed. And I am the life, the giver of this, the author of this kind of life. He himself is life. Okay. So, John 1, 1 to 4. In the beginning was the word. Where we know that the word, ang in the word, it is Jesus Christ. And the word was with God. And the word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him. All things were made through him. And without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. All things were made through him. All living creatures were made because of God, because of Jesus Christ. Because he's the giver of life. He's the author of life. In him was life. And the life was the light of men. John 6, 37 to 40. All that the Father gives me will come to me. And whoever comes to me, I will never cast out. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me. That's eternal security. Your salvation is secured because Jesus will lose none no? sa binigay ng father sa kanya. Sino yung binigay? Shepherd, a sheep. Sino yung sheep? Believers. But raise it up on the last day. Raise it up on the last day. So there's a day of resurrection. A resurrection of the body because our spirit will never die. Ang body lang namatay. And then the Lord will raise it up on the last day. For this is the will of my father that everyone who looks on the sun and believes in him, again, should have eternal life. Zui should have eternal life. And I will raise him up on the last day. Same claim in Jesus Christ. I am the resurrection and the life. I will give you eternal life and I will raise you on the last day. Yan ang claim in Jesus Christ. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you have eternal life. And he will raise you up on the last day. So beg the Lord Jesus Christ to give you the faith to believe in his claim that he indeed is the Messiah. John 6, 54, whoever feeds on my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. Why? Because he is the life. If you drink and eat of life, you will have eternal life. And I will raise him up on the last day. Always life and raise him up on the last day. Life and resurrection. John 10, 17, 21. For this reason, the Father loves me because I lay down my life that I may take it up again. So Jesus has authority to give his life and take his life up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own accord. I have authority to lay it down and I have authority to take it up. This charge I have received from my Father. Jesus has authority because he is the author of life. He is the he has the authority to, to, to lay down his life and to take up his life again you know, because he's the author of life. John 17, 1 to 3, this is his prayer. When Jesus had spoken these words, he lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your son that the son may glorify you. Tapos na to, when Jesus was already crucified, then he, uh, and he was resurrected and then he prayed to the Father. Since you have given him authority over all flesh, Jesus has been given authority over everything to give life. What authority? To give authority to give life to all whom you have given him. Election, doctrine of election again. To give life to all the Father had given or had drawn to Jesus Christ. And this is eternal life that they know you. Know here is to have a personal relationship, not just intellectual knowledge, but personal, experiential knowing. You know, to know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Matthew 28, 16 to 20, we're also familiar with this text. Now the 11 disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. 
And then, and Jesus came and said to them, all authority, Hindi, some, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. To go therefore and make disciples of all nations. He has authority in everything. He's the author of life. He has the authority to give life. He's the authority to resurrect the dead. Now the question is, do you believe? Do you see, do you see John 11, 25 to 27. Jesus spoke to Martha. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Alam po natin yung claim ni Jesus dito. I am God. I can bring the dead back to life because I am the source of life and I don't have to wait for the last day. Whoever believes in me, whoever gives his life to me now, though he die physically, yet shall he live. He will die physically. His spirit will continue to live on with the Lord. And on the last day, the Lord will raise him up. And everyone who lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? Yan ang tanong niya ka Martha. At alam po natin ang sagot ni Martha. She said to him, Yes, Lord. I believe in what? I believe that you are the Christ, the anointed one, the Savior. You are the one who's going to save me from my sin because she knew that she cannot save herself from her sin. You are the Christ, the Son of God who is coming into the world. Now the question is, you, do you believe that Jesus is the Christ, he is the Savior, and he is God, and he is the Son of God. Do you believe that, as the Bible says, Romans 3.23, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, do you believe that you are a sinner? And Romans 6.23, the wages of sin is death. And everybody who sins, everybody, we are all sinners, and the wages of sin, and what your sin is earning, is death in hell. And there's no way for you to save yourself from him because God is just. However, the second part ng John, uh, ng Romans 6.23, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus. The gift, why? Because you don't have to do anything. Just give your life to Christ because he had done everything to save you. But the gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ. Instead, I punish ka ng Panginoon sa sin mo in hell. He has given you a gift of eternal life in Christ Jesus Christ. In, in Christ Jesus. So do you believe this? Ask yourself. And if you say yes, do you have the proofs? Is there a changed life? I said yes. Then if you believe this, preach to the world. Preach to your brother, father, sister. And let them have eternal life as well. If God wills it because salvation is all God's work. Ephesians 2, 1 to 4. And you were dead in trespasses and sins. So we're talking about spirit. Everyone. You know, Jesus is speaking to the people who are alive physically. No, si Paul. Sabi ni Paul. Sa mga sa the Ephesian church. And you were dead in the trespasses and sins. You were dead spiritually in your sins, in which you once walked. Kayo ganito before, following the course of this world, following the prince of the power of the air, Satan, the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience. Those who do not believe now, it's Satan's spirit that is working in you right now, among whom we all once lived. We all once lived. No, hindi pa tayo na born again. Same as itong mga, mga itong Ephesian church in the passions of our flesh, carrying out the desires of the body and the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, by nature children of wrath, like the rest of mankind. But, ito yung napagandang verse, verse 4, but God being rich in mercy, because of his mercy, he's not punishing you what your sins deserve, because of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ. By grace, you have been saved. Only by God's grace. A favor that you don't deserve. Grace. Mercy is not punishing you of what your sins deserve. So, ganun ka ba ng Because of His love. 
He made us alive, just like Lazarus, dead to life. Jesus made Lazarus alive. So tayo din, spiritually dead, God made us alive. Nung naborn again tayo. Conclusion. We're done. John 5, 27 to 29. And he has given him authority to execute judgment because he is the son of man. Do not marvel at this for an hour is coming when all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and come out. Those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of judgment or damnation. This is the conclusion. There will be judgment to come. And Jesus is the only one who has the authority to resurrect the dead and to give life, to give eternal life. At siya yung judge. At ano sabi? Those who believe in him will live forever, will raise to life, and those who do not will be raised to, will rise to life, but those who do not will be raised to eternal judgment or damnation. Yan ang conclusion. So what are you going to do with that conclusion? What should we do? 1 Corinthians 15, 3 to 8. This is the gospel. Sabi ni Paul, For I delivered to you as of first importance. This is very important. As of first importance. Hindi yung second importance, but this is urgent. This is important. Do it now. As of first importance, what I also received. What did Paul receive? That Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures. That he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. Christ already resurrected. Because he's a resurrection and he's the author of life. Sabi niya, I have the authority to lay my life down and to take it up again. So nangyari yun. No. 30 AD. And that he appeared to Cephas, he proved. This is proof that Jesus was resurrected. Jesus was raised to life. He appeared to Paul, to Cephas, then to the 12 disciples. Then he appeared to more than 500 brothers at one time. So 500 brothers one time, 500 witnesses, most of whom are still alive. At that time, Paul was talking to them, though some have fallen asleep, though some already died. Then he appeared to James, then to all the apostles, last of all, as to one untimely born, he appeared also to me. So Jesus has risen. So what should you do? Preach the gospel. gospel. Jesus died, was buried, and was raised again. Proving that he indeed is the Messiah, that he indeed is God. Proving that he indeed has the authority to resurrect and to give life. Proving that he indeed is the Savior. Give your life. To Christ. First Corinthians 15 58. Therefore, this is our, uh, what we should do. My beloved brothers, be steadfast, immovable, always be strong in faith, immovable. Whatever problem you have, yun tulad ng testimony ni Asia Kanina. Do not be moved, do not be shaken by trials, by testing. Be steadfast, be strong, stand firm. Do not be shaken, cannot be moved, immovable. Always abounding in the work of the Lord, like what we are doing now. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. What is the work of the Lord? To expand his kingdom here on earth, to preach the gospel, to preach to as many people as you can, to let them know that there's a good news, that they don't have to die for their sins because Jesus already died for their sins. And if they give their life to Christ, they will have eternal life. Knowing that the, the, that in the Lord, your labor is not in vain. So let us keep on working. Let us all be busy in the work of the Lord. Because our labor will not be in vain. The Lord has risen. He is the author of life. He is the resurrection. And he is the life. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you, God, for your message. We thank you, God, for reminding us and assuring us, and even encouraging us, and giving us hope that we will all resurrect one day. Our bodies will be resurrected one day into glorified bodies. And uh, thank you, God, for assuring us that as born-again believers, we will be raised to life 
to eternal life, to live with Christ, to live with you forever. And Father, we ask, Lord, that your message will penetrate in our hearts, penetrate to our hearts and cause us even to move to, to be bold and to be zealous in preaching the gospel to others, to let them know that Jesus indeed is the only author of life and he is the only author. He is on the only the only one who has the authority to raise the dead to life. So Father in heaven, we lift this night up to you. Thank you for your message and all glory and praise is yours. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Maraming salamat po.